What is going on everyone? I hope you are all having a fantastic day. So we've looked at the Apple credit card in a few different videos, including the original review that I did about a month ago, and have also compared the Apple card to some of my other favorite free credit cards like the SoFi credit card, as well as the Discover It credit card. And overall, I like the Apple card, but they just recently added a new family sharing feature that I really like and think is fairly unique. So in today's video, let's quickly brush up on what the Apple card has to offer in general, and then talk about how this new family sharing feature can allow you and your entire family to take advantage of all of those benefits and earn some serious cash back. All right, let's jump right into it. So again, I have done a full review on the Apple Card, so if you want a really in-depth look at the regular product, then definitely check out that review video, because in this video, I specifically want to focus on this new family sharing feature. But to give you a 30 second rundown of the core features of the Apple Card, this card currently offers you 3% cash back on all Apple Store purchases, including the retail store, the app store, and the music store, as well as 3% cash back at certain merchants like Panera, Uber Eats, Nike, ExxonMobil, and a few others as well. You're also going to get 2% cash back every time you use your Apple Card with Apple Pay, which is great because most stores nowadays have Apple Pay or accept Apple Pay, which means a majority of the time you're going to be able to get that 2% cash back on all of your purchases. And beyond that, you'll earn 1% cash back on any purchase that does not involve Apple Pay. And of course, the Apple Card is completely free, which we always love. Okay, so that's great and all, but we've covered that in several videos before. So what's the big deal with this new family sharing feature. Well, essentially, this now allows you to share those benefits of the Apple Card with anyone age 13 or older. It doesn't matter if this person is your partner, your child, or maybe even a close friend that you trust. All of you are now able to share the benefits of the Apple Card and help improve your financial health as a unit. Okay, so the way that this works is going to look a little bit different depending on the age of the person that you are adding to your account. So say you're adding your child who is under the age of 18. Well, they are going to be able to share in the benefits of the Apple Card and learn healthy financial habits along the way, which we'll talk more about in a second. But if you have an individual who is over the age of 18, then you're also going to help them build their own credit score as essentially what's called an authorized user. Okay, but first of all, let's start off with that group that is under the age of 18 because that's really the part that makes this product truly unique. And the reason I say that is because a lot of other credit cards allow you to add an authorized user. In fact, I'd say about 90% of credit cards give you that option. And basically, an authorized user means that that individual gets a card that is linked to your account or whoever the main account owner is, and they're able to use that for their regular everyday purchases, and in most cases, that will also help build their credit score. And as I've discussed in previous videos, that can be a fantastic way for someone to build up their credit really quickly by essentially piggybacking on the good credit of the account owner. So if I have a good credit score of 790, for example, and you either have bad credit or maybe you have no credit history at all, then this is a fantastic way to really quickly build up that credit score by being an authorized user on my account. Now, there absolutely are other cards that give you that option for individuals under 18, but the options are fairly limited, so the fact that this very popular Apple card now allows you to do that with anyone over the age of 13 is pretty exciting in my opinion. And what this means is instead of having to constantly give your kids money for food or whatever else, or maybe you are the child or teenager and you're constantly asking your parents for money, well, you're now able to have your own credit card with your name on it, but your parents are still able to monitor your spending to make sure that you're not going out and racking up a stupid amount of credit card debt. And as long as you are using that card responsibly and of course paying it off at the end of every single month in full without fail, then this is a great financial tool in my opinion that will allow those younger individuals to start learning some of those healthy financial habits. But as we just talked about, if you have a co-owner on this account with you, that is over the age of 18, then not only are they going to have all of those benefits, but it's also going to help build their credit score as well. So maybe you have your child on this account before they turn 18 and they're learning those healthy financial habits. And then as soon as they turn 18, yeah, they could go out and get the Apple card on their own. Although that would probably be very difficult with no credit history, but they can also just continue using this new family sharing plan. And you as the parent are able to continue monitoring your child's spending habits since they still might not be old enough to completely be on their own financially in some situations, but you're also helping to build their personal credit score, which can help them out in so many ways down the road, 
when they might go to apply for a student loan, buy a car, or even just apply for an apartment. So I completely recognize the fact that this is a pretty niche product for the most part, and maybe you're not even looking to add every member of your family to this card. But it is a really cool new feature that I felt was definitely worth talking about here on the channel. So even just by adding a few of your family members to the Apple Card, it's really going to get all of your finances on one page, and in a lot of ways will help you better manage your income and spending as a family because you won't have a million different credit cards and debit cards and cash transactions and all of those different things to keep track of at the end of the month when it comes time to balance your budget. So as you can probably tell, I'm a pretty big fan of the Apple Card as a whole and this new feature, but now let's answer the most important question. Is this a good tool that you should use? And more importantly, is this reason enough for you to now go out and get the Apple Card? Well, the answer to that question is really going to depend on your situation because anytime we're talking about a credit card or any type of lending product, we definitely want to tread lightly, especially when bringing younger individuals into the mix. So if you already have the Apple Card or maybe you've been thinking about getting it and you feel like you have a pretty good understanding of how to responsibly use a credit card and you have a proven track record of doing that, then adding family members to this account might be something worth considering to teach them healthy financial habits and to allow them to build their own credit score. But if you yourself are still trying to figure things out financially and maybe you're still trying to pay off some past credit card debts or other loans, then it is my belief that you might want to take care of your own finances first before extending that branch out and trying to help others with their finances. Now, I realize that that's not going to be a popular opinion and you absolutely can take advantage of the cashback benefits and other advantages of using this family sharing tool, even if you yourself are still trying to figure things out financially. But the true benefit of this product, in my opinion, and what makes it so unique is the ability to teach those younger individuals between the ages of 13 and 18 how to responsibly use credit and pay it off and take advantage of those benefits. But in order for you to actually teach that, you have to lead by example. Because if mom and dad are going out and racking up $1,000 in credit card debt and not paying it off, then it's very likely that a younger individual will see that and think that that is completely normal and completely okay. And in my opinion, that is the last thing that we want to be teaching a teenager. But hey, I am not a parent or a teacher, so again, you've got to look at your situation and figure out what is going to work best for you. That being said, I do think the Apple Card in general is a really great financial tool, especially if you are a hardcore Apple user like myself, because it integrates so well with the iPhone, your Apple Watch, and other Apple products. Again, if you want some more information on the Apple Card in general, then definitely check out that full review video that I did, and check out some of those Versus videos where we compare the Apple Card to some other popular free credit cards. I would love to know what you think of this new family sharing tool down in the comment section below and whether or not you plan on using it for your family. As always, if you did get value out of this content and you want to help support me, the easiest way to do that is actually checking out some of my favorite financial tools down in the description below, many of which will give you some free money, which is always an added bonus. Be sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future. And of course, thank you so much for your time. I really do appreciate it so much. Take it easy and I'll see you in the next one.